45 minutes north of Orlando. And we begin at Stetson University. Dr. Hari Pulapaka is an associate professor of mathematics and computer science here. He was born in Mumbai, India, and he came to America in 1987 to get his doctorate. He's taught at Stetson since the year 2000. His wife, Jennifer, is also a doctor, but the medical kind. She's a podiatrist and owns the Deland Foot and Leg Center. When the Pulapakas finish their day jobs, they come here to run their own restaurant. Hey, when do these guys sleep? The Pulapakas opened Crest Restaurant in Deland in 2008. Chef Harry runs the back of the house and does most of the cooking. Jennifer works the dining room. She's the general manager and wine director. Tell me how this whole thing came about. It's not like you two are not busy. You're a professor uh, teaching mathematics, and you're a doctor. Uh, for me, the journey, the culinary journey started in 2004. And I went to culinary school, got trained, apprenticed here and there. Three years later, this place opened up for sale. Uh, and it took a leap of faith for us and uh, started this restaurant. Neither Harry nor Jennifer have ever owned or managed a restaurant before opening Crush. But Jennifer's career as a doctor actually helped prepare them to run the business. When I finished residency, I opened up my practice, and that was, that was a scary transition. So when we came into the restaurant, it was an easier transition because I had the feel of how a business should be run. But I enjoy being able to have a different side because it's all business when you're seeing a patient or you're having to go to surgery. And it's nice because it's like hosting small parties when I'm here on this side. So I get to have a, a different approach to the day, same day, different approach. Crest has been acknowledged as one of the top restaurants in Central Florida. The menu is international, but you can sure find Indian influences in the dishes Chef Hari creates. And I grew up in India, so the cuisine of India, as you know, is big and it's flavorful and it's seasonal and it's artisanal. At the same time, it's an old, old cuisine. No? Yes. You can't mess around with those spices if you don't know what you're doing. The menu at Crust changes throughout the year and is primarily based on locally sourced ingredients. The chef prepared a number of dishes and he started with two made with wreckfish, a deep water fish found in caves and shipwrecks. It's similar to grouper or snapper. Is the bright ceviche. It's my Asian twist in the ceviche. You know, I've got some coconut milk and ginger that makes it sort of more on the Asian side. It's a nice thick slice. Uh, you keep somewhere between the sashimi and the ceviche. Perfect. Thank you, chef. And this is a more of a rustic dish, or a seaside dish, if you will, an herb crusted preparation. The herbs are tarragon and parsley and basil. Panko breadcrumbs. You know. Same fish. Same fish. Look at Same how, fish. Look at how Juicy, I guess. Yes. A little citrus for blanc, some Hawaiian salt if you want some more seasoning. That is awesome. So this is uh, the Italian in me. I'm a big fan of Italian food. I'm um, with you. Fresh pasta with some lardon of pork jowl. Mangalitsa pork jowl comes from Summerfield here in Florida. Uh, I've got some red corn from California, some golden chanterelles, chili flakes, some quail eggs to bind it together. My take on a carbonara, if you will. Dynamite. Thank you. The chef served up a number of other dishes, and all of them were awesome. A roulade with locally sourced milk-fed chicken, classic southern grits, and andouille. Here's a squab dish in the style of a North African bestia, but with Indian flavors. Amazing! And then, one final dish. Cape Canaveral shrimp, head-on, wild-caught, not far from here. I gotta represent my heritage, so this is my take on a vindaloo. It speaks to you, Chef, a little bit. As you well know, the dish has its roots from right, Portugal. Am I going to get my head blown off on this or not? I hope not. I hope you're going to taste the shrimp still. And that's the whole point of how I cook food. I hope you still taste the shrimp. That is delicious. Now, classical vindaloos nowadays in India, you won't necessarily get the plate this way. It'll be a sauce with a protein. So I've tried to think of this curry dish as more of a stew, as opposed to a curry dish you would get in a, in a traditional or maybe even an Americanized Indian restaurant. That's awesome. That's one of the best I've ever had. Chef, amazing food. Thank you very much. Amazing hospitality. Keep cooking that, brother. Great wine by Dr. Jennifer Pulapak. Yes, indeed. Stay with us, folks. Next